is Stuart Royce Dodger. I'm an independent scholar. I'm retired from Duke University. See the gray hairs on me. Where I was a professor of geology, environment, and engineering for 15 years. The title of my paper is When A is Ordinary, The Evolution of American College and University Grading, 1940 to 2009. I've been looking at college grading since about 1997 when I wrote a book about higher education. And for this particular paper, I wanted to look at how grades have changed from the 1940s until about present time. Since colleges have a process of grading that's unregulated, it's based on an honor system where professors are expected to grade realistically and fairly, are professors in an unregulated system behaving according to some sort of honor code, or are they abandoning it decade by decade? From the 1920s until about the 1960s, grades across the nation were fairly uniform from school to school and about 15% of all grades were A's. The plurality of grades were C's. In the 1960s, that grading pattern changed dramatically. Professors were willing to grade unrealistically in exchange for ensuring that male students would not have to be drafted and go to Vietnam. With the end of the Vietnam era, grades actually dropped nationally. Professors began to grade more realistically, began to follow their honor system of keeping the A reserved for excellent performance. In the early 1980s, that pattern changed. Grades started to rise again. They continued to rise from the 80s to the 90s through the 2000s and probably continue to rise in the present day. It appears that the principal reason that grades are rising is the that in the 1980s, the culture of colleges changed dramatically. Students were no longer considered acolytes trying to gain knowledge, but instead were customers in search of a degree. And in response to that cultural change, universities and colleges increasingly began to employ student-based course reviews, whether it is true or not, faculty members believe that by giving higher grades, they will get higher course reviews. The take-home message, actually this show was called The Voice, right? And I thought it was the same show, The Voice, when I got the email. So I'm going to sing it with my apologies to Frank Lewis. When you see a prof who is afraid to get tough, Throws his C's, D's, and F's into the refuse. Call it sad, call it funny, but it's better than even money that the prof's probably afraid of his course reviews. So the take-home message of this paper is that over the last 30 years, with the advent of student-based course reviews, professors across the nation are grading easier.